Good morning, Whale Branch. Today is Monday, March 2nd. I'm Cade, and this is your morning news. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now join me for a moment of silence. Please be seated. Good morning, Well Branch. Well Branch is sponsoring the college visitation to Claflin University and South Carolina State on Friday. The trip is open to all 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. See your counselor for more details. Students attending the South Carolina Youth Leadership Conference are reminded to turn in permission slips as soon as possible. Ms. Brown wants to remind all seniors that the March scholarship list is out and can be picked up in the Guidance Center. Interested in student government? How about teacher cadets? If that's you, please see Ms. Perez for more information. And here's Brendan with the weather. Good morning, Red Branch. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 69. Tomorrow will be cloudy and there is a 30% chance of rain on Wednesday. The shower should clear up by Friday and the weekend is expected to be dry and in the 60s. I'm Brendan, that's your weather. Back to you, Cade. Thanks, Brendan. There is a father-daughter dance here at Well Branch on March 20th. The dance is open to all 9th and 10th grade girls and their fathers are father figures. Tickets are on sale now and can be purchased from the bookkeeper during both lunches. Prom is Saturday, April 18th at the Holiday Inn. All attendees must attend a prom promise meeting on March 18th in the Performing Arts Center. Don't get behind. See the time is being offered with Ms. Cato on Thursdays from 3.45 to 4.45. And with Mr. Bervinich on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Don't forget, principals and ambassadors will meet on Tuesday in the Media Center. And Ladies First will meet on Wednesday in room C215. And here's Matt with sports. Good morning, Will Branch. The boys' basketball team continues to the championship round in the playoffs when they play Gray College 8 on Friday for the 2A state championship. This week, there is a soccer match at home against Colton County on Tuesday, and track will be traveling to Woodland on Saturday for the Adidas Invitational. That's the news for the week. Good luck to all our student-athletes. I'm Matt, and that's your sports for the week. Back to you, Cade. Thanks, Matt. Don't forget, Jean's Day is Friday. That's the news for the second. I'm Cade. And I'm Glenn. Have, Have a great, great day, Will Branch. branch.